Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to dry your hot peppers for hot pepper flakes. That's what I use the cayennes for. These are thin walled peppers and the whole trick I think to really drying them with maximum flavor is to leave these on the plant a little bit longer than you would normally pick them just to use them this way in cooking. So when you leave them on a plant a little bit longer they'll get a little bit thinner, a little bit more wrinkly and they won't be as plump. And what you're doing is you're just kind of letting them dry on the plant, get to the maximum flavor, and pick them and it'll be a little bit easier to dry. And again, these are thin walled peppers. Thin walled peppers just spread out on a sheet. Cayennes are perfect for putting down on a tray. I just put a little aluminum foil on there. These are my Facing Heaven peppers. This is a pizza tray right here with some holes in the bottom. Again, these are thin walled peppers. Leave them on the vine again until they're less plump and a little more wrinkly and thin and you're just going to dry them at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you want to stay at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit because you don't want it to get much hotter than that or the oils from the peppers will actually evaporate and sometimes it get too hot, too hot and actually start um, crisping up your pepper. You don't want that burn taste, so 180 degrees. Now, thicker walled peppers like cayenne peppers, I do slice those up and dry them. Slice them nice and thin. If you put the whole pepper in there, the walls are just too thick. They're going to take forever to really dry. I'll talk about how long they take to dry in a second and then I'll also show you what they look like when they're finally dried and how I store them. So I just take the jalapenos, cut them thinly, shake them in the bowl a little bit, let the seeds drop out. You don't want a ton of seeds in there. And then I use these for cooking in different ways, but I'm just saving really the jalapeno rings, nice and dried. Spread them out and again they go into an oven of about 180 degrees and they're going to have to stay in there anywhere from four to eight hours depending on how thick the pepper is, how much moistures, moistures are in the peppers and really the humidity of your general area. So it's going to vary. So 180 degrees, I'm going to put these in the oven and then I'll show you what they look like dried, how I crush them up and then how I store them. So after four to eight hours, your peppers will be dry. These are the Facing Heavens. I just store them in a Ziploc bag and I use them right out of the bag just like this. I'll take one out, crush it over pasta or whatever I'm using it in. The jalapeno rings you can store like this in a Ziploc bag and just drop them into the sauces or whatever you're doing. Or you can actually pulverize your hot peppers down um, with a coffee grinder. Just do it outside or you know, in a place where the dust isn't going to get everywhere and cause problems for people. And then you can just use that powdered um, hot pepper in your sauces or however you want to use it. Now for the cayennes, you can store them just like this if you want. What I do is once dry, break the tops off. You don't want to eat those. Put them in a Ziploc bag and then you just crush them up. And you get the idea. You would break it down until it's nice fine flakes and you have your crushed red pepper for your pasta dishes and however you want to use them. Now if you're concerned again that 180 degrees is too high, just turn the temperatures down in your oven. It'll take longer for them to uh, dry out. If you don't have a lower setting, open your door up just a little bit. That will bring the temperature down and that will help slow the process down if you want them to be a little more redder. Maybe you're concerned your oils are evaporating out, however you want to do it. But this is the best way to do it. It gets done pretty quickly. And again, 48 hours depending on your temperature setting. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thanks.